Hey everyone, it's me and Reese. Today I'm gonna compare two wireless tattoo machines, Spectra Flux and Cheyenne Unlimited. So everyone's been asking me which one is the best from all of these two and which one I prefer and how they are compared with. Even though I made the videos individually, I will have to make one where I compare both of them just so I can get the best information out for you. And maybe this will help you to choose which one you would like to get for yourself. So first of all, the size wise, they both are about exactly the same. You know, there could be like one or two millimeters somewhere, but about the same weight as well, you know, so pretty much the same kind of machines. Spectra Flux is a little bit better ergonomic wise and for the balance as well. I think it's kind of when you work with it, it's uh, pretty smooth in your arm and it's kind of easier as well to hold and it's a bit kind of different, you know, from all of the shapes and stuff. And I don't know, it just feels a lot more kind of friendly here to your arm, you know, and to hold it and to work with it. With Cheyenne machine, it's a bit like, you know, like stiff kind of and when you work with it, it doesn't have that kind of ergonomically bent and stuff, but still all right to work with it, you know, not much difference on that. But I do prefer this one for the ergonomics. Both of the machines are four millimeter stroke. Uh, with four millimeter, you can pretty much cover every type of work. I do black and gray and for me works good. Of course, it's even better for like lining and color packing and stuff like that. But Cheyenne does have another option with 3.5 millimeter one for more like smoother work or black and gray work or smaller lines. And that is kind of plus for this one because you can choose if you work more smoother black and gray, you can go for 3.5 millimeter one. Or if you're looking for harder hitting machine, more like faster and more for color, then you can go for four millimeter one. With this one, there's not an option for that right now, but they both are good all-rounder machines even with both with four millimeter they are good all-rounder machine whether you can cover pretty much all type of work for the grips unlimited one has a bit smoother kind of thing so you can maybe adjust it as you go whatever you want with the flux one it has more clicking type of grip what doesn't really change that much but it is a cool that it kind of clicks in the space so if you're working with this one it's still not gonna spin really in your hand because it's still quite hard to move it around so without the click is all right as well but i guess that clicking option is a bit cooler more about grips flux one unfortunately doesn't have additional grips what you can buy or any disposable grip options at the moment and that's a bit disappointing because if i want to do with with this machine if i want to do two tattoos on two different people in a row no matter how good you wrap it you still need to autoclave it after each customer and that's a bit inconvenient with using this machine right now with unlimited you can use disposable options and you also can buy extra grips for it to use so you can have like a few different ones what you can always go in the autoclave if you don't want to use disposable ones this is a huge plus for this machine so i can do in one day a couple of tattoos easy with this so what else uh, flux machine doesn't have any tattooing modes it's pretty much direct drive machine so you just turn it on and off and it's just one hit machine and you can only adjust the voltage and doesn't have any different modes or strokes or anything but unlimited one has two different modes one is steady mode when it's more like direct drive hit and one is responsive mode that means the needle will be pushed back a little bit so it's a bit softer to the skin it's a bit more adjustable kind of thing if that's what you prefer the flux machine here has voltage indicator so you can see exactly what voltage you use and you can adjust it lower and higher right there and you will be able to see when you work with it so that's a huge plus for this machine with the unlimited one it doesn't have any indicator to adjust the voltage and stuff you need to lift it up holding this button you need to lift it up or lower down and it will kind of adjust the voltage from higher to lower of course there's kind of like leaflet where it explains on which direction kind of what voltage it is but it's a bit kind of tricky i think well when you work to kind of figure out where exactly your hand needs to be to for example to put like 7.5 volts so maybe it's only me maybe other artists don't have an issue with that i personally don't have an issue with that either because i don't really look at the voltage i never really do and when i work i just kind of if I work on the skin, I just adjust it. If I feel it needs a bit higher, I just turn it a bit higher. If I feel I need a bit lower, I turn it lower. So for me, this is not an issue at all, but I know for many artists, that's quite a huge issue, I think, when they don't know what they're tattooing on. So in that way, the Flux will be so much more better. When you get the Flux one, it comes with either one battery or two batteries. You can get additional one for additional price, of course, and 
so you can keep one while you're tattooing and other one is charging but when you get unlimited one it comes straight away with two batteries so you didn't need to get an additional one and straight away you can work with it and keep other to charge and swap them around flux one even if you have one battery it you can plug in the cable straight away here and charge it while you're even tattooing so it's basically it is a wireless machine but also if you forgot to charge your batteries or if you have only one and you only need to finish five minutes for tattooing you can just plug it in there and use it like a standard kind of with the cable tattoo machine so that's kind of like a plus for flux because you know if you forget to charge the unlimited batteries that's about it there's nothing you can do really you need to put them to charge saying that both of them will the batteries charge quite quick so even if you forgot to charge them and in the morning when you're putting stencil on or something you can plug them in and even if you in like 20 minutes or half an hour it will charge the battery enough for you to be able to work for maybe like an hour and in that hour you can charge the additional battery or if you don't have additional battery then you can just plug it in here what is really good for unlimited one it uses standard batteries these ones over here and you can get pretty much in any shop them so if you you can even buy many of them and use them for conventions and stuff and recharge them later and they're pretty cheap as well to get them so that's a huge plus with this one though if you need additional battery or if this one dies or whatever happens you will have to buy like another kind of full power pack there that will cost you more than hundred dollars so that's a bit more inconvenient here and for the battery swapping the flux one will be a winner because it just takes you like one second to take it out you swap it to the new one and plug it back in like this and you that's it but of course when you're tattooing it's all covered so you might need to change it all and anyway swap around with unlimited one it, you need to open this one here you need to remove the battery and then you need to swap it to the new one pop it back in and close it like this doesn't really take a long time anyway you have to take that uh, battery to additional charger and stuff and you have to unscrew it all and of course if it's covered again you need to open it all and stuff so it might take you a few seconds longer to swap this one but anyway it's not too bad to swap them to charge the batteries they both come with with these kind of things so flux comes only with this tiny cable here what you can plug into usb has USB-C right there so you just plug it in there and you charge it wherever you want and of course you can take the battery out and charge it separately uh, somewhere what I do and unlimited one comes with this sort of portable charger for the batteries you can charge up to two batteries in there it's also USB one both of these machines comes only with these things so it doesn't have actual plug to plug in so depending on the country where you are you'll have to buy your own or you'll just have to use the one that you already have with your phone or with your laptop or something pretty much everyone has USB chargers so that's not really an issue I guess but what's good with flux it actually has USB-C charger and that supports fast charging as well depending on the plug you have you can charge it really faster and many of the battery charging kind of devices are switching more and more to USB-C because that's kind of like where where it's all going so this is already right there about battery life so I wanted to do a quick experiment so I charged them both fully and I plugged them in and I turned them both on the maximum voltage so this one was 12 volts and this one was a maximum as well and I wanted to leave them on the side just to see how long it will last on on higher voltage just just so I can kind of compare which one lasts longer and which one doesn't but unfortunately it was too loud and I couldn't stand that noise for like more than like half an hour I was like no I can't do this anymore so I kind of abandoned that experiment and for, from my tattoo experience of course every single tattoo is a bit different every single uh, placement is a bit different so it's kind of hard for me to tell which machine lasted longer while I was tattooing but both of them are pretty good for for what I do it lasted me good six hours easy if one of the machine will last a little bit longer it's not gonna be a crazy difference you know it's not gonna be like one of them lasts only one hour and another one lasts five hours so both of them are really good battery life uh, about performance and what did I thought about tattooing with both of them and trying them out so uh, with unlimited one with four millimeters and uh, flux as well four millimeter one um, both of them 
were to me were about equally good you know i could do any type of work what i wanted to even smooth shade even when it was four millimeter stroke was quite long for smoother work but still you if you slow a little bit down you are able to achieve them and because it's wireless and stuff it's a lot lot easier to kind of approach it and a lot easier to uh, do the smoother shades and stuff but also for the line work i found it really good of course i'm not line work artist i don't do like huge line back pieces and stuff if i would try maybe i would be able to tell a bit better with these but for my type of work both of them work equally good and it would be hard for me to really pick one of them what works better i think unlimited one is a little bit more sharper hit so it's a bit kind of feels like a little bit faster type of machine i don't think it's actually voltage faster or any things like that faster but uh, when you work on the skin it just feels a little bit sharper to the skin um, than this one the flux one feels a little bit more like standard uh, kind of rotary machines like nice really nice hit I, I think as well for the lining it feels a bit more like standard type of rotary machines with the unlimited one it it, it feels a little bit different to the any other rotary but not that it's a huge huge factor or anything it just uh, it, it does feel a little bit different i wouldn't be able to tell kind of much difference uh, in my work which one i would use i think i can do equally good work with any of these so for me to comment on the performance it's quite hard because they're both amazing machines i think that's about it for this one there's not much i can add anymore but with flux one there's a bit more extra things what we can add here and one of those things are it's bluetooth compatible so with the bluetooth you will be able to connect it to the power supply where you will be able to get all the readouts and adjust how you want it adjust the speed and the, everything like that also eventually you will be able to connect it to the wireless pedal as well what's gonna come out soon with wireless pedal of course then you can just work with on and off like that that will be pretty cool you, you will not be able to need to press any buttons over there and with bluetooth you will also be able to connect it to the app what's gonna come out soon i know they've been talking about it for a long time but it hopefully it will be coming out soon and you will be able to connect this machine to the app and in that app there will be many software updates and, and one of those updates will give this machine also give options because uh, they will just kind of make it possible through the electronics i don't really know how it works but anyway the, and i'm sure there will be so many other options there what you will be able to adjust your own for your own likes and for your own hit and stuff if, through that app and also you will be able to voice activate the machine if that's something what you are interested in and there will be probably many more other things and you will be able to check all the readouts what it is and what kind of voltages there are and what percentages the motor moving and all that stuff i don't know i'm really not good at all this technology thing but you and hopefully you get what i mean so with this one there will be so many more updates coming up in the future and hopefully as well the grips and stuff and disposable ones and everything like that and then this would be super cool one I think for all that Bluetooth and all that updates and all those things you will not need any additional hardware for it so you will be able to just download the app through the app store and use it for your phone or for your iPad or anything and you will have all those upgrades and advantages for this machine straight away like that but I think for the wireless pedal if you want to connect this machine through it you will probably need to have that power unit but i'm really not sure about all that when the time comes you will be able to check that all out yourself on epcarens kind of website or anywhere so the big question which one is better both of them are amazing machines both of them are great to work with i enjoyed working with each of them for the past couple of months it was great flux is a bit more advanced i would say it just feels like it's a lot lot more here going on you know and it's also like quite like i mentioned before ergonomics i think with all those updates and everything it will give you like a new machine you will be able to even adjust it to work like a new machine i'm not really sh sure about that but that's kind of what the uh, feel i have so i think this one is the better option but if i had to choose today right now i would go for this one just because the battery option is a lot more friendlier i think because you get two batteries straight away and you can just go to shop and buy another one if you need to so the battery swapping will be a lot more cheaper for this machine also i love that you can get uh, disposable grips for this and additional grips so that's a big plus for me and it means i can work with this machine straight away for many tattoos in one day and it just kind of i think 
for now this is a little little bit better option and also you can have 3.5 millimeter if you are black and gray artist then that option will be better for you so this is quite cool as well but overall it's just up to you really if you are a fan of Cheyenne machines already if you use them before then of course go for Cheyenne pen and if you prefer using different type of rotary machines I think the flux will be a bit more similar to that and, and it will just be easier for you to work and also with the flux one with all those updates and everything I think it will be just a lot lot more advanced machine so it will give you a little bit more hopefully this video gave you a little bit more insights comparing them both together and you now know which one to choose so if you have any questions or anything at all let me know below and i'll try my best to answer all of them thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time